Have you ever wondered what it would be like to wear your luggage as a backpack? Well, my friends, this is the answer to that. This is the Jerry Bag Shield. Hard shell on the front, soft shell on the back, hard shell, knife, an actual shield. So let's check it out. Starting with the obvious upsides of this bag, a hard shell front cover inspired by the old school jerry cans originally designed to transport fuel and water, but now meant for protecting your goodies inside, while maintaining the practicality of a backpack design. Along with its second prominent feature, expandability. In its starting form, it stores 25 liters, a decent size for a day bag, but unzipped to reveal all that extra foreskin and that adds a whopping 10 liters to the bag, which makes it a great carry-on alternative for travel, and yes, you will get called a ninja turtle while wearing it. So now checking out the pocket layout there's a single quick access pocket along the top it's fairly compact lining a thin nylon but great for smaller items like glasses or earphones on the side of the bag there's a thin bottle pocket that does expand thanks to the mesh and elastic lining on the inside along the back side is a fully padded pocket that can store your laptop or really any electronics there's two large sleeves and a few smaller pockets for accessories now it is padded throughout but do note the laptop isn't lifted from the bottom which is a little disappointing around front the hard shell covers the large main compartment generally for all your clothes when traveling or just larger items like a lunch and gear for daily usage a single mesh pocket on the back side it's fairly tight and flat elastic straps to compress your clothes on the go another mesh pocket with a little more volume generally for toiletries but it could just be a large pocket to separate your carry too then the whole front panel that reveals the bottom side of the hard shell it's meant to have your valuables or electronics stored inside to keep it from banging against other things i generally like to throw some soft items in this pocket too to really dampen any impact but that's what we're working with so let's see what it can hold starting with that side pocket when traveling i always have a joby tripod with me simply for its versatility i mainly travel with my phone as my main camera now and using this allows me to take stable time lapses or even group photos and actually be in them it's a fairly tight pocket but you could swap it for something like an umbrella and even a standard water bottle combined with the straps to hold it securely in place next hang on the compression straps on the other side always 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 carry a hero clip with you this is a normal carabiner with a hook built into it that allows you to hang your bags on doors and tabletops to keep it off grimy floors and you'll thank me for this when you walk into a washroom stall without a hook built in next is the new one from dispatch the cap snap is for any cap fanatics like myself it's just a carabiner that has a clip to hold your cap it's literally that simple if you sweat as much as i do it's nice to let the breeze run through your bald head sometimes so having somewhere to easily store and access my hat is a must on the go now given there's only a single quick access pocket on this bag you got to be strategic about what goes in like my favorite wireless earphones the jabra elite sport comfortable don't stick out like a sore thumb and they're waterproof yes i do shower with these on after an intense sweat session at the gym then the nightcore tup or tup for short a super tiny led flashlight that can output up to a thousand lumens and for those who don't know what that means it's just a lot of light for such a small package aluminum construction belt clip built in and charges through micro usb this one's for those who are afraid of the dark like myself then a new addition to my arsenal the dji osmo pocket because it literally fits inside a pocket this tiny handheld gimbal can shoot 4k keeps all your shots stabilized and has a screen so you can see yourself and easily compose your shot it ain't waterproof but if you're looking for super smooth footage this is the camera to beat and those are my three essentials for the quick access pocket moving along the rear end of the bag i gotta have my laptop with me and these pockets easily fit a 15 inch laptop it can even store two if you really wanted to now inside the mothership this clamshell design reveals a huge compartment for everything else like my headphones of choice the bose qc 35 twos in the included hard shell case the noise cancelling is phenomenal but more importantly these feel like you're wearing clouds i forget i have them on of course the wired cable just in case along with that damn lightning dongle next my tech pouch of choice goes to peak design all thanks to their internal origami like organization which basically houses the rest of my accessories there's dedicated wired headphones that don't require batteries my anchor power core fusion that's a portable battery but also plugs directly into an outlet and doubles as a wall charger, a few multi-plug cables, most notably the chiffon multi-cables that have micro, lightning, and USB-C built into a single short cable. And for your Apple Watch owners, the Belkin Valet battery has a built-in watch charger so you don't have to deal with carrying around that long wire, but it also just doubles as an external battery just in case. You can never have enough battery. Always have a multi-USB wall charger with you, there's plenty available, but this is the Anchor 10 port model simply because I've got a lot of devices, but it also makes for a perfect companion combined with my multi-USB cables. Finally, my phone tripod of choice a joby micro tripod attached to a new phone holder made of an all metal i recently acquired it's spring loaded offers several mounting points that you can build a rig off of landscape and portrait mode is available and it locks in place really well combine that with the adjustable joby legs makes for a super stable shot in a tiny little package the peak 
design pouch is made of a sturdy nylon like material but more importantly just makes organizing and seeing every accessory i own very very easy moving along we've got the standard clothes you bring shorts t-shirts extra underwear because you never know then along the front panel mesh pocket i store toiletries vaseline is a must for anyone with dry lips it's a miracle worker my mini kit for the washroom toothbrush toothpaste all great things to deal with teeth and cleaning stored conveniently in a soft muji waterproof pouch a mini microfiber towel it's lightweight dries quickly and is great if you're an excessive sweater like i am or just to wash your face off during a plane ride deodorant because you stink and just a small bag of various pills for emergencies overall a much roomier little mesh pocket when compared to its brother to the right of it then underneath that's where the magic really happens being directly shielded from the outside world see what i did there because the bag's called shield Okay, I actually store another bag. This is the Timbuktu Rapid Pack that's super lightweight, it's flexible, but stores enough for a day pack when I just wanna bring a water bottle with me. And finally, my beloved Nintendo Switch, which is what I need so protected, it's double protected in a storage case. I don't think I need to vouch for this device. It's self-explanatory why it's great, not only for myself, but just to enjoy with others as well. And that's all my travel goodies stored inside. You can definitely store more, but I just try to keep it to the essentials when I travel. The best part is, assuming you don't carry an extra bag with you like I do, removing the travel gear and compressing the bag down converts this into a great day pack option too it won't stick out as much and it still feels comfortable when filled so tossing some gear inside the main compartment accessories into the mesh pocket an umbrella on the outside just in case quick access items stay the same camera earphones and flashlight pack clip hero clip and laptop along the back with plenty of room for other electronics too such as an ipad pro and some old school tech like a notebook that's not all hidden inside the strap a slot for cash and cards great for a bus pass or a student card to get in and out but that's it transforming from a full-fledged travel bag to a day pack on the go a pretty solid bag some may call it a shielded bag to accommodate both needs so that's what the jerry bag shield can carry but there are a lot of travel and day packs out there already what makes the shield special well it it's an actual shield. ASMR. And that's probably gonna be the main deciding factor of this bag. Not everyone's gonna dig that luggage backpack combo, but if you are looking for the best of both worlds, then the Jerry Bag Shield's probably my favorite baby child of both of them. But to go in more detail for who I recommend this bag for, here are five reasons why I love this bag. The first one being their buy one, give one program. This design is based on actual jerry cans they use in Uganda to transport waters from long distances. So what their buy one, give one campaign allows for is funding to labor costs to create bags like this to carry jerry cans around much easier it's no additional cost to use so if you do like the design and it's what you're looking for in a bag if you find it on kickstarter now you get it at a much cheaper price and each pledge does support the buy one give one campaign next up of course the hard shell protection it's like they cut a luggage in half and put a backpack behind it and these four bumps on the front aren't just for design they actually give that whole front its rigid finish and you might have seen it in their campaign video that they do test this with a knife went pretty hard at it it does scuff up a bit but it doesn't pierce through and if you are wondering that top hard shell is waterproof but the rest of the bag is made of a softer nylon the zippers are semi-sealed so it will do fine in light rain but if you let it soak any longer it will inevitably soak inside the bag next up is design it's a subjective one but i personally like the look of the bag and if you are wondering yes you do feel like a ninja turtle once you wear this bag plus thanks to this hard shell design it makes customization very easy they do include a bunch of these stickers you can spray paint onto it as well but I personally like my personal customization. Plus, although I do love the black on black on black look, it makes it very generic looking. So being able to customize it allows you to identify a lot quicker on the go. Next is expandability. This is in its smallest form. You can tighten it down. It's a 25 liter bag, but you expand it. Bam, that's an extra 10 liters you have on you, making it a 35 liter bag. Perfect for travel about a weekend carry. And then when it's all packed in full, even at 35 liters, these side straps allow you to cinch it down so it does remove any extra space as needed. And that goes for both sides too. And as you saw in the video, it can carry quite a bit of clothes, but once you get to your destination, you can squeeze the bag down and actually use this bag as a day-to-day -day bag. And finally, comfort. 
The shoulder straps are nicely padded. There's not a lot of rigidity to them and they do connect to the top here. They are mesh lined, so it does allow for some ventilation. Combine that with the backside padding and mesh design as well, all along the back panel. And finally, a chest strap that does help with distributing the load along with adjustability depending on your body type. Although all that padding does make it comfortable to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. When you fully load the bag for travel, you do start to feel the strain of the load, especially since they don't include a hip strap. I understand the omission of it. It is a shorter style bag. So if you added a hip strap, it would put it in like an awkward location, but that's just something to keep in mind. One last thing to consider is the lack of quick access pockets. You do have that small one at the top, the side one for a bottle, umbrella, or like a small tripod, and even the card slot on the shoulder strap. But otherwise you have to fully dig into the bag for any of your other items. But if you are okay with the lack of quick access pockets, the bag does make up for it on the inside with pockets and pockets and pockets and more pockets. But that is it. Everything I talked about linked down below. The bag is funding on Kickstarter right now, which is probably the best time to get it because it is at a much, much, much discounted price. Also remember every pledge does help fund the buy one, give one campaign, helping the people in Uganda transport water in actual jerry cans. That's it. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and leave a comment down below what your favorite feature was. I rest my bag.